on chasing that. The whole time we, the whole time we talked, did we not have several discussions about me buying a house? Business venture. Nothing was discussed about us officially being together. So you just here to bring the bullshit. And look who's standing beside you. All I can think to myself is, we do this. I'm in the city having a good time um, and I hit my boy Dior up to see where he is, what's popping. And I don't even know what y'all issue is. Who? You and Reese. Baby, let me tell you something. What you would never do is try to play me on any type of platform, right? Mm -hmm. And then once that platform season has ran its course, now you want to kumbaya off camera. Your boy is out here working, okay? I signed, I signed on as a creative director, which means I'm in charge of everything. And today we're shooting Miss Lady Jade from K104. We're in Chicago for an event. Uh, for I think Reese is hosting the event, and I get to meet my good friend Rico with the K. So I'm really trying to get back into school, so I go ahead and get this out of the way. Then you know the hoop business. Oh, you mentioned hoop business. So I changed my phone number. Mm -hmm. And so like everybody that I don't want on my personal phone, I put it to my business phone. Okay. This right here, Robert, this is when Markel texts me on my new number mm -hmm. and he knows what number to call. Why do you keep wanting this limbo and this session with Markel at your phone? Get them the fuck out of here because they hit me too. Bitch, you get broke your fuck ass phone, bitch. Oh, that's the fuck up, bitch. These Chicago girls don't play. All I was trying to do is come here and just Post for y'all, that's it. Yeah, let me go and do my job. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I need a bag. I need a bag. I need a bag. Give me that bag. Bags under my eyes. Under my what? And I'm chasing that bag. Chasing it. Put it on my mama. Put it on my mama. Put it on my dad. On my dad. When I'm packing my bags. Pack it up. Wanna get that bag. Gonna get that bag. I need a bag. I need a bag. I need a bag. Bags under my eyes. Under my eyes. Cause I'm chasing that bag. Chasing it. Put it on my mama. Put it on my mama. Put it on my dad. Man, on my dad. Man, I'm packing my bags. Packing it up. Wanna get that bag. Bag. Yeah. No. Can I get an old Can I get an old Can I get an old Thank you so much. I'm so in love with the chatter. I'm so in love with my little boo. It was written like a letter. Think I was born with the juice. Think I was born with the sauce. Think I was born a little crazy. Then I turned out to a boss. Chicago knows how to throw an event, baby. They were performing in the space that we had it. You know, the space was, you know, the space. It wasn't too big, too small. It was a great event. You got to see some dope artists. I got to meet a new friend. Seeing Reese go up there and host, he like a natural. That bitch. Welcome to Chicago. Bitch. Mikey. Oh hi, my God. Hi, 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 hi. hi. Good. Thank you. You did good. So I saw video. It, was, you a, it was a motherfucking production for me. <laughs> you did that. Thank you, baby. You sound good too. You sound really, really good. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Ask me. I told you the house. The house is a signature. And you, and you know what? Ever since you told me that, I have been really sticking to that. Like I really did. It's, it's about everything. It. Like it's everything. Like the house is a thing. It's everything. House of everything. Mikey, everything. House, house of, of everything. everything. <laughs> yeah. 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 Overall, the event was fan fucking tastic. I hosted my ass off. All the performers performed they ass off. Rico with a K did his thing. Carrie D, Damo Moon, and everybody else did their thing. Especially Mikey Everything. <laughs> he was everything. So congrats, Mikey. Thank you for booking the doll. And see y'all next time, Chicago. Give that to your people. I'm gonna go and give me another drink. Give me a good job. We'll talk to you later, man. We'll talk about it. Woo!
Eric out to dinner just to talk and clear the air. I feel like after the, the ugly sweater party, I feel like he had a lot of animosity toward me. He called me messy and I felt like he didn't understand where I was coming from, from or the place that I'm in as being, you know, the middleman. So, you know, it's been a lot of, you know, snakerization going on between you, me and Reese and you, me and Dior. And it's kind of crazy because I'm just like, what's all that going on? Like, I thought that you and I would be in a place where we can remain neutral. I feel like I've been neutral. I feel like I've had friends before you and I came in and you kind of like disrupted the balance of things. And I felt like you added me into the mix and trying to say that I'm doing all the Snickers. I don't, how is it between me? What did I do? Trey, as a black LGBTQ man, you have the nerve to call someone else a bufanda. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? You put your own foot in your mouth with you, when it comes to everybody you have a problem with. I did nothing to you. You know, I think it was more so the back and forth. You know, I felt like, you know, I've come into the retreat, wanted you there, you know, just to kind of, I'm just not getting to know you. I drove with you, what, 10 hours in the car? It was just kind of different. It was a different experience for me. You telling your arch enemy that to beat my ass, well, I feel like you were this, you, I was mad at Dre Simba. I was heated, I was pissed. But to go so far as to say, sleeping on the car, sleeping on the floor and all that, we talked about that in the car, but I didn't think that you would go so far and to do that and to say all those things. And what you said about Reese's mom and all this shit, it's like, damn, you hitting low blow after low blow, and when is it going to be enough for you to be like, realize, okay, Eric messed up. Eric has said some things, he put his own foot in his mouth, and it's like, okay, I can apologize. I just want you to apologize and move forward. You, I feel like you keep, Avoiding the group, feeling like we're, I like, you know, last time you said we were there to jump you. I was like, Eric, how we, how, why would we be there to jump you? Bring your extras to the scene. That's pretty much They it. don't know you, Eric. They know nothing about why? you, sweetie. Let's be clear. Eric is riding my dick. I feel like he's around the group just to be a part of the group. And it's not genuine. I feel like I have tried to be a friend, but he's shown me many of times that he is a snake in the grass and I'm just treating him as such. I know how to give a banana to a monkey to make him dance. Nobody wanted you that night. You leaving and saying that, you know, we were there to jump you and then turn around and go to Atlanta and talk to King Kane and say that you felt like jumping was whack when you knew that that was a very hard time in my life and I no way wanted that to well, be Well, he interviewed and he asked me a question. Why did you say no comment? Why was no comment on the table? Because that's, that wasn't on my mind at the time. It should have been if Why I was, was on friend. my mind. Let's be careful with the F word because I've been, I feel like the F bomb been kind of lingering a lot in this group. But Eric, you wanted me to do things that I didn't feel like I need to be do they needed to be done as friends. Like I don't have to set up what anything. What was the friendship? Let's stay on track, right? You wanted me to do things that as a friend you have not asked me if you were building a genuine relationship anyway. I felt like it was a clout move to begin with. And now you're trying to make me the villain when I did not want to be the villain. I do not want to be the villain. I just want to move past this. And I feel like bringing you together and you the things you said about Reese's mom, I feel like you owe her an apology. Like, come on, you owe, like, really half the, the group an apology. Coming for someone that calls me my friend, I don't have a balance, or I don't have enough balance, was really hurtful to me. Like, Trey, what are we doing here? Are we moving forward, or are we going backwards? Trey, I want to switch gears. This Why are we not still on topic with what I want to talk about? Well, because I think that when we talk about other people, that's what strains our relationship. and. I think it's kind of a huge deflection of what's the root of the cause of the issue. What's the I want to be able to change gears and let's talk about um, the fashion show. I wasn't there to support you and so sorry that I didn't wasn't able to come. Um, I'm sure it was a success. Moving forward, I want to be able to build a better relationship with you. Um, if, if you're willing to. I feel like you can't build a better relationship with me fighting with people in the group. Trey, that has nothing to do with it. It doesn't because it shows your character. That has nothing to do with Because if you fuck with them wrong, you'll fuck with me wrong. You'll stab me in the back no. just like you fuck with Reese wrong. No, no it's I not. Mean, me and Reese has. You I go, you went low in the gutter for him. Guys. 
you'll go load it in the gutter with me like you've done before. Knew, you I talk trash you. about me on an interview. I've never went public to a public platform and say oh, anything have bad not. about you other than my job. Oh, you have other not. than my job to do so. I don't I don't do I don't talk about you in my daily life. Only my job. I absolutely I think he's both opportunistic and gullible. I feel like to believe that anyone is his friend after the things he said is crazy. And I think he's also an opportunistic because he shows up when it's convenient or he he acts away when the lights are come up and I just feel like that's not a real person like the same way that you act on camera is the same way you need to act off camera and the energy just do not match take accountability I feel like you're older than me take accountability yeah. of what the thing and, and, and I'll do that but first I want to at least take an accountability right now in the present you know okay. how can we move forward which just you and I not no one else not no one else a, a part of this group how can me and you move forward? We can move forward by not speaking badly about each other in the public. We can start by just owning our mistakes and not feeling like I'm in the middle of everything. I did not want to put myself in the middle, but I feel like I'm the closest thing you have to somebody trying to mediate the situation. So better me than you get into an altercation with people I really fuck with and now I have to choose a side and I don't want to do that. I want to stay neutral. And I know, I know that put you in a weird spot. It did put me in a weird spot, and I want to build a friendship with you, but I'm like, damn, they gonna stay saying that shit. I own this. The Bufana coming. I can keep. I did. But I shouldn't have, and I apologize to you for that, because in that time, we were building a relationship. And it was funny for me, but it shouldn't have been something that I can keep about, so I apologize to you for that. So moving forward, let's just not talk about each other. I just want us to... Yeah, because that's, that's, that's just going to kind of below the bill. Let's go ahead and move forward and just kind of, I mean, honestly. So how do, you feel like move, how do you feel like moving forward with everybody else? I feel like that shows your character because you've done so, listen, wrong, so much wrong. Me and everybody else, we have to build our relationships separately. Just like how I'm doing. I'm taking the first approach with you. Okay. And I'm coming to you one-on-one. -on -one. I'll right. have to do everyone else in the group the same thing. Just like how you feel about me. I just didn't know me meeting you in this setting again and what type of vibes we're going to have i do miss you i do okay I, we have fun I, we literally have fun i just want us to be in the group setting not feeling like you're taking daggers at me and me feel like i'm not kicking about the situation that's going on between you and other people so i'll try to stay neutral and do my best to not choose a side when it comes to you and reese or you and dior okay can i get a hug yes are you gonna come to the pajama party let me sleep on it. Let me think about it. I'm going to have to pray about it. You know, this has been a lot going on in the group. And I just want to kind of make sure that, you know, I fit the mold like one of your arch enemies said. After the conversation between me and Trey Howard, I feel like I got a lot of clarity. And the only way to move forward is to put in action. So I do, even though I did kiki about the Bufanda comment, I know that... What's a Bufanda? Well, when I searched it, it was just like... I can't say uh, it was like an ugly ass monkey. A monkey. A monkey. You know that you and your arch enemy, they he pretty much called me a buffon as well and then started beat on his chest. Um, where y'all going with that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I can definitely see where that is a problem. Only because us as black people already are has this stigma about us being related to monkeys, so I feel like that is the in that light we are dead ass wrong dead ass wrong i feel like me adding to him doing that i feel like he made that shit public and he made that shit a problem and me adding to that with just with that searching the searching the picture and then it coming to being a monkey just added fuel to the fire and i just feel so disappointed in myself because i am an active uh, black Lives matter um participant and i want to make sure that for my community i'm doing everything in my power to you know hold everybody feet to the fire so i'm gonna hold mine to the fire that was not wrong that was not right friend and I apologize because I never want that to be a problem in your eyes. We're the same damn color at this yeah. point. I'm so sorry for that. We're so cool. We're gonna hug it out? We, we can. We good? We can take another drink. <laughs> as long as you um, choose not to fucking try me. And I try that. <laughs> and we good. Okay. We good. We good. We good. After this conversation, I feel like it's safe to say I'm gonna keep my friends close and my enemies closer. So whatever he got ticking on his head or whatever he wanna say, I'ma make sure I hear it first, just to make sure he has, his ass ain't talking about me. Well, it was fun hanging with you and I'm glad you took this, yeah, this little dinner. Yeah, and all that other stuff, not the fondest in the world, but 
Cheers to us building our friendship and Cheers. trying again. <laughs>
listen, I am, you know, once again, I'm always in a city and somebody want me to pull up. Now, Markel done call me big and I mean big and the hell out of me. I'm here with, I was invited out with Trey to come and talk to uh, Markel and George and Carrie um, at the backyard. I've never been here before. It's a nice place or whatever, but I get to the place. It's pouring down raining and I forget my wallet at home. I can't get in without an ID, so you know I had to make do what it do. And I ended up getting in. Oh my god, I got you coming. Oh, you just get in and start drinking. You about to be on too? Do y'all want a piece of chicken? Well, I, I want to dive into the celery. So me and Markel have never had like an outing before. You and you missed out on my day last a few weeks ago. There was so much going on. So, oh. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. And then he said, then Rita was like, well, if nothing ever happened, why we, you remember gifts to me? And I was just like, oh God. Yeah. And they so said, I had to stop. And I was like, well, this before me or after me? Right, yes. Yeah, so that's, that's what I want to say. Is, uh, were you joking or did you and Trey Womack really talk? I mean, man, you Trey Womack and I talked back in the day. And we just realized oh, that we were good. 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 Reese was gonna buy some of stuff. Now you know bitches usually buy a shoe. You know, get a bitch hair done. Make sure you pile for it too. A tub? Make sure you pile for it. Uh, a tub you want to get my house built or something? That means you got to go to, you got to go to Sears. You got to pick a tub out. Uh, they got some bad news you have to get up to the house. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm asking you your opinion. Do you believe it? Yes, I don't have an opinion. Well, I know his opinion. He said that Reese was going after Trey Lomax and Trey Lomax was not being an opportunity. And they said, Talking about it, I don't like how you mad. No, that's not what I said. Yeah, you mad. Yeah. 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 Okay, you get like Gary Lee now, you big Okay. Words. Okay. So listen, so me and Markel, me and that Markel, I feel like we are kind of in the middle. You know, Markel and George is our friend, Reese is our friend. I feel like we should have an event. So we're going to try to reach the pajama party. This is straight one man going to be there. He invited Trey. No, man, no, 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 no. I did invite Trey. I'm going to invite him from here. Well, I invited. I'm just playing. No, no, he didn't say he was going to invite Trey. Well, I invited Eric James, Drake Simber, Ruda. Carl, Antonio, Tony Fry. Are you and Eric going to be in the same room? I don't know. If, if me and Reese can be in the same room, you and Eric can be in the same room. Not not when Trey brought up the event that him and Markel is planning, it was kind of weird because I, I wouldn't put Trey with Markel, but I feel like it could be a good event until I heard about a few things that's going to be here, a few people that's going to be there. I mean, a little bit towards the messy side, but hopefully we stay in the canoe so we won't tip over. You feel what I'm saying? So at this event, are you going to engage? Okay. What's the, what's the no. So pajamas, the thing is pajamas, oh, pajamas. What's no pajamas? Pajamas. pajamas? No skin, no skin has to be shot. I'm bringing my boxing gloves. <laughs> you have a blow-up dog on the table. Now listen, don't start no shit. All right, there you go. I think planning this event with Markel is a setup because I know how it's going to end. I feel like we're all going to just get into it. But I'm um, putting the benefit of the doubt out there only because I think that this group is bigger, mature enough to handle our differences. Um, you know, civil matter, civil way. So let's just talk. Oh, you ain't got no dream. So let's go through a good life, wealth, my good luck, positive. Oh. Yeah, I, got, I got water in my house. I know I was made. I didn't have no water. They made me eat. Coming up on Chasing Dallas. Well, I've been going through a lot. You already know about one part, but the other part is. Mm -hmm. 
The guy that we thought was the landlord of our building was not the landlord of our building. How you feeling? 21? 21, 22 now? 20, okay. Spend another birthday with her, another day with her is a, is a blessing, so yeah. Drink Simmons, shut the fuck up! Unless you're gonna cash at me the money for this room, Girl, shut ain't up! Nobody, ain't but nobody I'm gonna gonna bring tear it. this bitch up, you talk the hard. Been, How y'all doing? If you do not know who I am by now, shame on you. My name is Imani Benza, and I am here to help you fix your shit. I just got back from being out of town. I spent time in the mountains, it was great. So I'm refreshed and revived. I got a chance to watch the episode. Let's get into it, okay? Before we get into anything, Ariel, we knew it, we knew it, we I love you. You even got Coco um, singing it out there online too. I'm telling you, you are so funny. I just love you, Ariel. You, you, you won for me this week. You were chasing it because you chased me with laughter with what you said. Um, as far as who is, what is it, the next um, category? Wasting time. <sighs> Everybody else. <laughs> no, seriously, it's the, a lot of it is a waste of time. I'll be honest with you. It is the same fights over and over and over again. Um, I, I think that what, what, what I'm beginning to notice is you know how I am, okay? I'm gonna see it, I'm gonna tell you what's really going on. I'm not gonna give you what you always gonna expect. I see now the show as being, a lot of times, a missed opportunity. I don't, they don't put it out in the blogs and now we're canceled and everything. So I, got, so I gotta give you the, the best I got since we're on our way out. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I think now what is what has become of all this is, in many ways, a missed opportunity. We have a wonderful cast that we love, you know, we, we've grown with, but what has happened now is, Catch it, the actual A cast, you all for the most part, outside of George and Reese and their mess and, and Markel sometimes, you all have actually matured and have learned how to get along. You learned how to deal with your conflict. So now there's not a lot of conflict in the A cast. Now the A cast has to reach into the B cast. You know, all these thirsty people that jump from show to show trying to be people and go on uh, uh, little vlogger shows and try to air you out and all that kind of stuff. Now you're reaching into like kind of the bottom of the barrel trying to find drama. The reason why I see that, say this is a missed opportunity, the drama is still in your life. The drama is going after your dreams. The drama, catch it, are all the things that are happening off camera. We're canceled now. That don't just happen. But no, nobody wanna talk about it. So we put out drama that looks kind of commercial and there's hope that that'll sell. And if you can see, even sometimes in the comments, people are starting to sense that everything is contrived. Not that it's, it's, it's a bad show. I love Chasing Dallas. This is everything to me. It's where I really got my start, if you, if you want to be honest. But it's to the point now to where people can see there's other stuff that y'all are really dealing with that y'all don't want to talk about. So let's grab the, the Droll Tobers and the April Leashes or whatever they are and then have them come on and, and make a spectacle of themselves when they have no plans for their lives either. Now you have plans for your lives, ACAS. You ain't got to dip into the bottom of the barrel to try to make nothing happen. Try to focus there. That would be my advice. I love each and every one of you. And, and if you get a chance... Baby, go check out, I gotta give this shout out, TTV Network, who has been faithful in, in tracking us, you know, since the beginning of this. Baby, if you wanna hear some, hear some um, hit dogs holler, go over to their, their show and watch it. All the people that I don't even mention on here, get on there, and when they know that I'm talking about them, they get on there and they just go crazy. So shout out to TTV for always showing us love here at Chasing Reality. I love all of you. Keep going after your dreams, all that wonderful stuff. Believe in yourself, and as I always say, make sure that you what? which takes you straight to my merchandise, okay? ImaniVanZap.com. I sell empowering merchandise that you will love. Get out there and get you some today, okay? I love each and every one of you. Our audience at home, keep on supporting us. We got a few episodes left, but we're going to give it all we got. I love every one of my babies, all of you out there, okay? Take care of yourselves. Love each other. That's my job is to teach y'all how to do that. And, of course, buy my merchandise. I'll see you next time. Bye, babies. Gonna get that bag, bag, bag. It's a grown up type of night, so I want to invite the grown ups that I feel should come out and we just have grown folk talk. So, who else would I invite? Ariel. Carrie D and Dior. These are friends 
we're all good and there's gonna be no drama and no mess tonight. Just a little mini golf. <laughs> At the um heroes. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, I was recording you when you sung SWV bitch. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll all fan and now like oh, I love I'm it. A fan, I'm a fan. Thank you. That was a that was a replacement for the bowling night, wasn't it? I think so. I think so. We were supposed to have done something else, but Absolutely. I forgot about the damn bowling night. <laughs> Who ended up coming to the um to the to the uh, to your performance? Uh Trey, um uh, Dior, Markel, uh ooh, not that what was it? <laughs> <laughs> Chan, I pretty drunk. <laughs> You know, I felt it too. I was like, like "Yeah, right." That, that was it, right? Was funny. It was funny. Like, Lyndon was there, but, but yeah. And they yeah. quote automatic. unquote, George was still sitting in the parking lot. Sitting oh. in the parking lot. I don't know. I don't know I ain't, I ain't because seen. I drove through. The, what was he doing? In the parking lot, ain't the beef. Was he having an argument wasn't. with his boyfriend? He, was, he got a boyfriend. Trey. Wait, am I missing? Well, <laughs> it is from. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> hey! Oh my God! It's Halle Berry, Halle Berry. To a, to a, to a wait. Halle Berry, hey y'all. Hey. Hey. It, it had no choice for it to be nothing but short. Oh my God! <laughs> so I got invited by Reese, I believe, to the you know put put whatever the fuck this is. I don't know what the girls did. like. The girls is trying to do new shit. You know, I'm a chicken kind of girl myself. But you know, if the girls want to play golf, I guess I'll come around. And you know. Behold of me, I get here and my brother Dior is here. I haven't heard from Dior in a while. That's why you girls are seeing me in the motherfucking Fantasia cut. Girl, I had to cut her short because I wasn't able to take her up for long because my brother, I guess, was a little too busy for his sister. But I don't understand why he just went with ghost on me like that. He went ghost. That sounds like one of them Carrie D songs. Okay, well, let me pour it out. Why okay, so. Why got golf shit in? In there, in there, we just we just came wood. out here. We was waiting on you, and we just oh. trying to catch up or whatever. Well, I've been going through a lot. You already know that one part, but the other part is mm -hmm. the guy that we thought was the landlord of our building was not the landlord of our building. Really? He was a tenant there, and he was not supposed to be at your salon. Yes, <gasps> he was not supposed to be leasing oh, out at all. <laughs> I had a similar on, situation happen to me. On top of that, he wasn't paying rent. Oh, on top oh, of man. that, the I rent was only thirty two. The me. rent is only what thirty two hundred, uh -huh. I think. We were paying fifteen, so we've been close to half. Yeah. Oh, so then, damn. when we found out that he wasn't the the landlord, we reached out to the real landlord because we found the, the paper was on the door saying you're gonna be locked out. Yeah. So we hit him up and was like, "Can we? Can me and Dre just lease the whole building? Mm -hmm. Cause we can put people up. It was twelve rooms." Besides what we had, mm -hmm. twelve other rooms. We can put bitches in all these yeah, rooms. Yeah. Been in one of them. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. For real, for real. Okay. So he got upset that we was reaching out to them. But he's the landlord. And when no, they when they tenant. locked up he the building tenant. with uh, all of our wait, things in there, mm -hmm. all we all he had to do was show up, and he didn't want to show up because he was mad because we was trying to lease the they building. They probably thought y'all gonna beat him up too. They probably thought you was gonna whip that ass. <laughs> we were gonna break in that motherfucker, but like. Well, that's good because and I've been going through because we lost a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Of course, yeah, you do The that. walls along was this, what, forty two hundred yeah. by themselves, just paint the by themselves. So yeah. it's just like every my sinks are still in there because they was rushing us out of there. We can get our sinks out of there. Oh, no. They um we we couldn't do her for a whole week. They had our shit locked up. That's so that's so forty two hundred right I'm there. I'm just at home, man. just in tears, like bitch. All my money is gone. You my see, that's why I rather work gone. from home. You ain't got to worry right. about all that. It was horrible. It was horrible for us to find out that the la the landlord was not the landlord and to find out that we have to get out in three days it just put me in a space like I'm failing again and I wasn't gonna let it <sighs> I wasn't gonna let it get me down and get me out of the spirits of succeeding in what I do. But to put all I had into something that I always wanted and have it snatched away from me at that moment.
listen to me, y'all. Don't ever give up. No matter if somebody takes something from you, somebody tell you you can't do something, don't ever give up. And I ain't stopping. I may have lost a lot of money. I may have lost a spot that I thought was going to be my forever spot. The next spot is going to be bigger and better. Trust. But I think we found a new spot. But we've been working out of hotel rooms, like, here and there. You know, like little, like, in-city stay rooms and yeah. stuff. To get people, Why not know? just get a house, bitch, and, and convert the garage? I was, think, I was thinking about just getting a whole house and converting it to a whole salon. Oh, I mean, I, mean too. I think we can do it. But yeah, we, and we I can really work the garage. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hearing Dior talk about the, uh, what happened with him with the salon, with the salon and um, it kind of makes me angry because, like, I know how hard it is to try to, like, put your business together and then to have someone that's not you fuck it up or pull the rug right underneath you it kind of it, like it's not going to keep him down but like a setback is a setback and bitch just let me know if we need to like light that bitch on fire well what do we need to do because at this point something got to happen i just i i can't i can't even imagine that happening god shit <laughs> one day we sat there from like 10 a.m to 2 p.m trying to get in the building like we would just sit in the parking lot please come oh up here God. please come up here please come up here he would not come so how y'all get in there um we the, the we called the landlords the and we let them my, my i had my big sister call she has one of them voices like mm -hmm. you know yeah and she was like my if y'all don't let them in there they're gonna go in there and okay? then we gonna burn it down and we're gonna <laughs> like mm -hmm. if you let me get my shit out here just let me get my tools yeah because you see I i'm not work. being faulty bitch right. and it's i just tried to buy the whole building bitch right. like don't do me like that yeah. Yeah. We we we're all in my business we were trying to explain to them like <laughs> look <laughs> you know business. we we pay faithful we pay rent faithfully we've been paying 1500 10 months yeah you get what i'm saying so especially to be able to show feel them like we were still it's renovating because like, the it was a big ass white box when we got there you know what i'm saying so it was just like so when my brother told me what had been going on with that shop, the first thing that had came to my mother mind was, we really need to pull up over there and set the mother on fire. I'm so sick of the heterosexual community, like doing whatever it is they can to play the gay community as pussy. Like we are far from mother pussy, I'm far from pussy. And I say, we get together, we go over there with some gasoline cans, beat that man ass first and foremost, and then set that building on fire. Well, I'm That's happy that you're out of that situation. Yeah, well, not completely. Of. But we're trying to get there. More than enough, though. And then we're trying to get our money back, so we're trying to find well, more here. I don't know if you're going to get your money back. You think you're going to be able to get the money back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got I all. Mean, yes, we have, we have all it. the text making. We have all the paperwork. Every receipt that we have. Yeah, we got to go to yeah. court. At least they ain't small small claims. That's a bunch of money. That's yeah, a lot that's of money. A lot but of money. they, the the you real landlord is suing him too. first. Do you already oh, have a lawyer? No, we're looking for a good I'll one. I'll send you a contact. Okay, please, 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 please. And then please. when you're done with that, can we work on my uh, new single? Because I really want to drop an EP. Girl, what's oh, going to be called? Wait, Halle Berry? Bitch, yeah. Girl, it's love short cut. Okay. I'm dead ass serious. Let's go. I'm serious. I know you are. Y'all, I can't. Everybody else dropping answer. singles and stuff. At least my music will be good. I can't wait for y'all to hear this. <laughs> if Saucy Santana can do it. Wait, wait for y'all hear this bitch. This bitch is amazing. Already. I just love it. Yeah, because her other song she has dropped. You can't hear it yet. It's everything. So, yeah. What song it is? Brunch. Remember? Brunch. Mm -hmm. The remix. Mm -hmm. The remix. Go it. Y'all already hit it? Yeah, we, we was in the what? studio, yeah. I told you. Oh, yeah, I do remember you telling me that, yeah. Which friend? I knew that was weird. Which friend? Oh, we so. may need you, you know, some choreography. Oh, I'm, <laughs> you know? I'm telling you. Because I, I tried to get someone I'm else, charging, but they I'm not charging responded. nothing. I just wanted to be there. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, and Carrie, I know you was asking me at the bar. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, because I, I spoke with Reese. Okay. But I'm, I'm single. <laughs> huh? Yeah. No! <laughs> I've been single for, since, like, January. You think it's gonna stick? No. I, I don't think it's gonna stick because I, I plan on working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eric O'Hara and I'm here to fix that shit because okay. I'm not gonna do it at all. No, oh, we're, no, we're, 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 we're ready. Come. Actually. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go ahead. Dior don't need no more drinks. Oh, Dior got production ready. So today is my granny's birthday and she wanted to go go to uh, buy you cat for her birthday. It's a good catfish spot in Arlington. Being a great grandson that I am, I took her because 
that's what we do. We do things on her birthday where it's just me and her. We sit and talk and chop it up. She tell me secrets, that type of thing. Trying to get written in the wheel type of thing. No, I'm just kidding. I love I love her. She's uh, been the one person who's like off and on who's raised me outside of my father. You know, so I, I owe her the world. Well, happy birthday for you. <laughs> How you feeling? 21? 21, 22 now? 22. Okay. Excuse me. Let me get right on that. How you feeling? How's your day doing? Thank you. You got the, you got the day okay? <laughs> thank you for, I mean, we do this every year when we go out to eat. So I, again, thank you for letting me take you out. And, you know, let's get some good food. <laughs> so, uh, to spend another birthday with my granny is very special. Um, in the last few years, she hasn't been doing so well. She uh, had her stand in the hospital because of a fall. and mm -hmm. So, uh, from that moment, I, I took more of a let me be more involved. I'm usually a person in my family where I'm like, I see y'all on Christmas. I see y'all when we can. Uh, but... Seeing how fragile she is at this age, being that she was one of the strongest people I knew growing up, it, it really fucked with me. So I, I really wanted to be more present. Uh, so to be able to just spend another birthday with her, another day with her is a, is a blessing. So yeah, yeah, not gonna get it. How did it feel raising you? Or what was that like? What was it like raising you? A little bit, a little bit. I can, I can imagine. Left home, left me. <laughs> That's what you gonna say. <laughs> How do you feel um, about my growth so far? I mean, you raised, you were the one raising me for the most majority of my life. You know, when my dad was coming. I think, I think you did that real good. Well, thank you. I, I'm a little you. I'm you and Carl. I do think that I am her strength now. Um, um, a lot of times she, um, I won't say, the word is not rely, but it is. Uh, she likes for me to take her to church on every Sunday. She keeps trying to get me to go with her. That's a whole nother story, but girl, boom. This is a woman who literally took care of me when my dad and mom couldn't, like, at all. Um, and she showed me how to be more of a person than a, of a reliable person <laughs> than they could have. So I love like ooh shit. Um, <laughs> I forgot the question. Did I get it? Was that the question? Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready, Granny, I'm ready. Thank Coming up on Chasing Dallas. Fool me on camera. Hold on. Let me, mm -hmm. Can I respond to you? Sure. You act a fool with me on camera? Uh -huh. I'm act a fool with you on camera. You talk when to have me. I act a fool with you? Do, do we need to replay whole last season? Okay. I did oh. act a fool with you. Yeah, you were a fool. Last year, you actually, 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 we made up after we had our little spat. And then at the reunion, there were things that came about that I think were really great that you did because I mean it brought the numbers up and you know oh, appreciate that. It's, it's because of George. But Jay, shut the I, fuck up. Of shut George. up. I'm gonna get that bag. 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 Alright, today is the day. It's TLC pajama party. <laughs> I'm here. Listen, we need to go ahead and get these balloons together, get the room separated. We got food coming. Uh, Trey went ahead and got us a, a, a bartender. And I'm ready. And then we got a little we got a little stripper doll. You know, it's taking some time to blow him up. Okay. But he don't want to stand up either. Uh, he's probably been used and abused. But here he is. Alright, are you excited, friends? I'm excited. I just hope everybody comes with good vibes, good vibes, good energy. Because as soon as it go left, it's going to go left. I think that we can control the situation. I think that um, everything deserves a try. I think it won't get high feisty until the games. 
Well, this will get feisty as soon as they see the drinks. The drinks aren't that bad. And it's fun, shade, like you said before when we uh, seen each other. Fun it shade. was fun, okay. shade, light shade, morning right. dew, shade. So they'll take it for fun. Let's, I mean, it's not really that bad. So I'm excited. Me and Markel um, have booked a room at the La Meridian, which is a prestigious hotel. Very cute, very fabulous. I did take it upon myself to label these drinks. We labeled it Power Ranger. Uh, Pink Party and Lovers and Friends. Hopefully no one gets mad. I mean, it's all in good fun. After that long, drawn out sitting down, hearing them talk about nuts and peanuts, they finally came down to having a um, a pajama party. Um, so it's at this real fancy hotel up in Dallas um, called the La Meridian. And you know, now if I didn't pronounce that right, don't drag me. Just know that's what I think it's called. Okay. Okay. Uh, you gotta Okay, don't be messing up. Hey, Carrie. Hello. You stay um, COVID friendly. We you know, we got to. I proceed to get to the room, knock on the door. Who opens the door? George. He didn't think he disrespected me, but that's what it was. Either way, I'm here. We're gonna have a good old time, for the drink. Um, hopefully, you know, there's no drama, but with this group, you just never know. Hey! Hi. How are you? I'm late. How are y'all? Okay, so you pick a drink, whatever drink you like, and then on this, you're right. It's the big way. What did he say? It's a fire, this bitch. This kind of party, you bring your own drink. Wow! Wow! So everyone's arriving. Um, I hear a knock at the door. Of course, Dre Simber arrives. I told Markel he could invite him. I had no problem. But the bitch don't even know how to have proper manners and just say hello. He walked right in like he owned the place. I know he stay at motels, bitch, but he don't stay at this one. This is a hotel. Get your letters right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know you don't want to sleep at <laughs> No, I don't. Girl, I sleep naked. So like, you want to get naked, sis? We can do that too. Look, we can do all that. But the birthday suit right off on here. <laughs> So I arrived at the Lay Meridian because tonight is a pajama party hosted by Trey Howard and Markel. I don't really know how that combination came to be, but it ain't none of my business. I'm going to support Trey Howard and have a good time, especially since this is the second pajama. It seems like everybody keep, <laughs> is it me? Or does everybody keep repeating the same themes? Because, I mean, you got a pink party George did. Then you have a better pink party that Trey Howard did. Then you have a pajama party that Dior did. And now you got this pajama party. So, now I guess it's... We're going to have to score the better pajama party at this point. Okay, excuse me. Hey, I got an announcement to make. Everybody? Oh, shit. There's a few people here I don't fuck with. So, before I open this bottle and start drinking... Do I need to do anything with something in this bag? What's in that bag? What's in that bag, friend? No, you don't need to do nothing in that bag. What's in the bag? Let me go home. Y'all have a great day. I don't feel safe here. We're good. So I'm looking at Wuda, and Wuda look a little timid, a little bit, you know, Wuda swole, but he don't know what's in that bag, you know. So I can see him kind of like, you know, what's, what's going on here? Like, Wuda, it's, it's going to be okay. It's, 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 it's not what you think. So we're going to play a group of icebreaker of family feud, drunk family feud, right? So make y'all sell the cordless to this So how it work is, 
Um, each person, each person will face each other. So it's five people. Five it's family feud. Who's the Who's Harvey? Well, I don't know. I'll be Okay, let's do it. I'm here for it. Because if you do it first, that will be hard. Okay. 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 Yeah, you're going to down the line. We're playing that wrong. Name a kind of animal. That could use a face lift. Okay. 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 Neither of you guys are on the floor. Oh, yeah. Both gotta take a shot. Name a kind of animal. Because they both gotta take a shot. What's the proper one? A monkey. A monkey? A monkey? What's the monkey? A monkey? What's the monkey? A 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 monkey? Oh, I ain't know this one for the green light. The monster cage. Woo! I thought the right one. I'm about to go. You know, you know, you know. Leave it on. Ha! Go, go Marquette. Right. Right. The question reads, uh, who has the worst fashions? I'll hear your answer. Why am I first? <laughs> Let's go clockwise. That's really messy. And we'll go kind of clockwise for me. Okay. I think that's like really rude. I, do, can I take a shot if I don't want to answer? If you don't want to answer, you can take a shot. I'll take yes. a shot. I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to do that. Joy, what's your answer? Okay, what's your answer? I don't know how y'all dress. <laughs> Did you say my name? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that? Did I say my name? I didn't say your name. Oh, I'm, I expected you to do something predictable. I thought that that was another. You studied me long enough. I don't. I don't. I what's your answer? Actually, you study. Yeah, yeah, the question is, who do I think has the worst fashion? The worst sure I do. You do. I'm glad you admit it. Hold on, y'all. Great. Let's do your answer. answer. To be very honest with you, I really don't know what George's problem is. Like, I don't know why he's picking. Because now I feel like you're picking. Because if you don't really like somebody, then you're just going to stop talking to them all together. You're going to just block them out of your eyesight. If you don't see it for me, then you should not see me. And you shouldn't even have a conversation about me, say anything to me, and just pay me. Because one thing about a deity, when a deity is not praised anymore, it will lose its power, okay? So you might as well go ahead and just stop fucking with me. Because every time you pick at me, you running up a check. Girl, I appreciate it, but you know, I think it's been no... Okay, so, so are you talking about this part in general or as of right now? As of in general. In general, Trey, you know I never thought that you dressed the best. <laughs> you have yeah. swimming shorts and trunks on. <laughs> At least not swimming shorts. These are actually uh, just so regular. Cotton. cotton. Yeah, cotton. cotton. Okay, Trey, what's your answer? Pajama. Very cross. Very cross. I'm going to say you. Trey, what's your answer? Okay, my answer would definitely be October, November. Oh, okay. shit. Right. <laughs> so I would actually say that I'm coming to the next question. Right. The coldest. The coldest. The coldest is. The coldest. It's okay. Okay. Name all the Thanks. people who has a legit brand. Um, oh, Harry, shit. Luca, <laughs> Premier, Marquez, oh, George, Dior, Reese. Oh, sorry. Maybe everybody. <laughs> he got a lot of Be very honest. Everybody in the room is on the grader. This right now, honey. We say Dre Simmer and this motherfucker. Like when they drop the teasers for the motherfucking retreat. Everybody know my damn voice without seeing my damn face, girl. It's a lot of Reese. Well, their trip is over. Right! Girl, we're in Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Next question. Next question. My question. Ooh. Woo! Did Trey Womack and Reese have a fling? Where's he at, anyways? Because you, you've been shouting him out lately. So, everybody has been for this thing. He ain't even in the room. Right. There's some holes in the south. I don't oh. think that he would, he would be super crazy to make Premier. it up. He'll be crazy to that's make that up. Can I, can I, can I, can I? Chai. I, I would think I that, the question now Reese, I mean, you may not always got an eye, but I think she would be delirious to make that up because she thinks that they had a relationship, so I would feel like they did, I think. Okay. I mean, oh, I fucks with that, George. I fucks with that. Oh, that's some real shit. That's some real shit, I'm here for that. What that love got to do with and just being sure. delusional? <laughs> what is your tea, girl? First of all, mm -hmm. young lady. Mm -hmm. um, Same boat yet again. There's no tea. <laughs> okay. I know you are. 
Um, you do. You no, no, you know exactly who I am. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> sure you did. Five person down. Okay. No, can I ask yeah, you a question yeah, really quick? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think you know that. I don't. I'm, I don't. It has to be a feeling. Because no, I just want to understand because where we left off, I invited you to Markel's birthday. We had a very civil interaction. You came, oh, that was big of you. You came, you signed your contract, everything was cool. Then you bring up some shit, the lemon squeezes just really don't add up. But nonetheless, every time that we may be in close quarters where the cameras are not rolling, you're actually at very, very... Quarter. No, um, respectable. Because it's a business. Respectable. And so business is business. So uh -huh. here's the thing, sweet. So you act a fool with me. Business. Can, hold on. Let mm -hmm. me can I respond to you? Sure. You act a fool with me on camera, uh -huh. I'm gonna act a fool with you on camera. You talk When have I act a fool with you? Do, do we need to replay whole last season? I did oh. act a fool with you. Yeah, you were a fool. Last year we were actually, 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 actually we made up after we had our little spat. And then at the reunion, there were things that came about that I think were really great that you did because, I mean, it brought the numbers up and you helped everybody in this room be more relevant. So I appreciate oh, sure. that. It's, it's because of George. But Please shut well, the I'm, fuck up. Shut up. It's, it's, shut, it's, up. It's, it's, shut up. Shut up. Dior. Shut up. Let them talk. Dior. Your ass don't even know what happened last season. So shut the fuck up. This this dumb bitch just keep talking and keep talking and keep talking. I'm just looking now like, ain't nobody going to tell this whole shut up. Fuck it. I tell this bitch to shut the fuck up because this bitch is getting on my nerves. Calm down. Calm down. No, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep it silver, bitch. Uh, we're gonna keep it silver. No, no, Eric, Eric, stop. Dior, your children is not here. Who are you talking to, my love? Hey, so, so you fixed it and all of that, and I just want to know, like, what was the trigger? Because the lie you told the lemon squeeze, that ain't gonna stick. It was cute for camera, though. Thank you. What lie I told it for lemon squeeze? The lie, because you said that uh, we were trying to make you out to look like you were kissing random people and a whore and everything. Of course you did. Recall. Of course. No, we didn't. You needed. You, uh, the, the green screen you, aired where you said exactly who the person was. But you didn't. Did the green it? screen aired you where you said exactly you what it, it was. You didn't say it. So listen. And then it. actually, actually, yes, we actually are. all Jeez. joked about it and we all fooled because it wasn't Jeez. even a thing. Because so if it was a thing, you would have brought it up okay, before it was a convenient right. quick to bring it up. We don't come back from It's okay. Just want to let y'all know one more thing. Sorry. Just want to let y'all know I ain't got no problem with George. George thinks it's amazing to have a problem with me. I wish him the best with everything. I don't talk about you. You, you do. You are, okay, okay, you do. Why would I have a problem with you? How you don't know who I am? Are you sure? Okay, we're done. That okay, Michael, would you like to answer that question? <laughs> uh-huh. She's searching. Michael, would you like to answer that question? Hey, 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 it's all the wrong place. As are you. Oh, because you actually put on the two and five to the same nigga. That was in the wrong place. Ooh. Shit. Listen, no, no. What you are sorry. Yeah. So were you talking to Trey or was he using your ass? He wasn't using Ooh. me. He wasn't using me. I mean, damn, can everybody just hush for a goddamn moment? George arguing with Reese. Reese arguing with George. Eric, I don't know what the fuck going on with Eric. Eric is just drunk, okay? <laughs> Eric is just me and Eric. And it's just a whole lot, a lot of going on. So I'm looking at Trey. Trey, he's getting fed up. I'm fed up. I'm just like, we really trying to have a good night. But y'all just bickering about, I don't even know what the hell they was arguing about. As you can see, I'm just sitting there looking like, what is going on? Can I get a word in? It said, who is the biggest clout chaser? I'll say Markel. I just think you're a big clout chaser than George. Well, wait, how do you figure out? Yeah. How do you put together I'm a clout chaser? I just feel like um, a lot of things that you've done have just been to get ahead. And that's clout. I don't think clout is a bad thing. So it can't be taken as bad, but I think a lot of things that you've done was to get ahead and not in favor of what was necessarily right. So you're saying that my clout chasing in your eyes is bad? No! Are you in the front? You should he was mm -hmm. saying that you no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying that you are one of the biggest pop chasers. Well, I, I didn't think it was bad or it was right or whatever. I mean, that's on you. You never would care. But, um, you said what? what? What you say, girl? He, he was just saying he did. Well, yeah. yeah. I'll answer. 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 I
It's a chaser. Um, but they're how am I the biggest pop chaser when I bring the most cloud? You don't bring Trey, the most cloud. You, cry, you, can I speak? Can you I speak? cried to can be I here. Speak? I applied to be here. There's a difference, girl. I I how can I how can I bend for cloud when I'm bringing y'all more fucking clout by being here than what you had before. No, no, see, no shade. Let's be honest. Honey, I've been doing this shit before your ass was thought of. I'm credited on chasing Atlanta and chasing Dallas and G-Status, girl. What clout do I need from y'all? Luckily, I fucks with Reese, the darling, the Dallas darling. She looked out for the dog, you know. So I mean, girl, wait, 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 Cloud chaser. It's because everybody in here put in a work and a half, bitch. Hold on, let me speak, bitch. What, what work? Let me speak. Can I speak, bitch? Or are you gonna dominate the conversation? Go ahead, go ahead. Right, it's like, bitch. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, everybody in here put in a time and a half, bitch, mm -hmm. and over time, bitch, and not even for this show, bitch. This is not their claim to fame. This is not my claim to fame. This may be yours, but it's my not my. Hold on, hold on. You may be credited on other shows, bitch, but besides that, what speaks to your resume? What have you done? Since you've been in Dallas, besides be on this motherfucking show to say anything about motherfucking Grace Hold on, and bitch. And and the let only let thing let you have done is promote the show, bitch. You are a mess. 2021, You don't have to work a 9 and 5 or have a plan I just say that because I don't work a 9 and 5. A motherfucker got no I don't work a 9 and 5. Where the money resides. Where the money resides. And that nigga sold cars. Now he got bookings and other shit. Bro. But girl, I'm here. You have no work. I'm here. You here with me? Okay, I, 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 I don't have no words. I don't have no words. Actually, girl, Grace, 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 Grace Summer coming out soon. I just, I just want to know so what's what that? makes you what's you. That? What makes you have this pizzazz? Okay, no words. It's the fact that I'm Grace Summer, girl. That's it. As much as I wanted, you know, to have fun, I felt like people there wouldn't allow that. I feel like Dre Simber only came, as he usually do, just to stir up trouble. I feel like all he does is talk about what he's done and what he's done. What are you doing? We're here in 2021. You're in Dallas and you're just going about, going about, living off of unemployment checks. Nobody even know what you do, boo. And you here worried about me. Yes, I'm fully booked. And maybe as a stylist, I could style you and you could be booked as fucking well. You can't have a problem, man. You can't have a problem, You can't have a problem. Sitting pretty and lovely and playing the goddamn. Dressing family feuds, bitch. Dressing family, we're not in Atlanta no more. Bring it down for a we second. We show the fuck out. I understand, but bring it down for a second. Honey, I run Atlanta. I get this. Hey, 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 listen, hey, Dressing family, shut the fuck up. Unless you're gonna cash at me the money for this room, Girl, shut ain't up. Nobody, ain't but nobody I'm gonna bring it tear this bitch up. You talk the hard. Your she mouth. Said, Let's have your problems. mouth. And there's people in here. other rooms. Bitch, you both of y'all happily and carefully, bitch, lively, bitch, no tea, no tea, bitch, no tea, bitch, we're not gonna take it outside, bye, bitch, 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 bye, Next time on Chasing Dallas. So all my social media sweet. How do I get trying to I'm get not, no. No, I reached out to you. And everything. Well, you apparently you reached out to me for a while, girl. You, uh, Why do you reach out to me? Because I have a... Because you fuck with me outside this goddamn show. What I'm saying is, we squashed it. You always yeah, started bro, something. Yeah, yeah. Do you just, want to know where the post came from or not? Me. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if you get loud because I can get loud too. Like, lyrically hearing what you did, like, you did some stuff that I was like, oh, wow. Trust really yourself. Clever. Like, you really need to trust yourself more. I need a bag. I need a bag. I need a bag. Give me that bag. Next on my eyes. Under my what? Cause I'm chasing that bag. I'm chasing it. Put it on my mama. Put it on my mama. Put it on my dad. On oh, my dad. Then I'm packing my bags. Pack it up. I'm gonna get that bag. I'm gonna get that bag. Hey, I need a bag. bag. I need a bag. Bag under my eyes. Under my eyes. Cause I'm chasing that bag. I'm chasing it, chasing Put it on my mama. Put it on my mama. Put it on my dad. Man, on my dad. Man, I'm packing my bag. Packing it up. Wanna get that bag. Bag. Yeah.